and just scrying the 13th call. The angels are bidding me to lean back a little bit and relax. And the angels are showing me um, just again, many, many dots making a an eddy-like movement or motion um, as like water going down a drain. And, but at the same time, there's like this fountain coming up from the middle of that drain. So it's like a, a constant water flow. So this parallels the noontime scrying where um, a similar series of visions happened. So, and they were pointing out that at its best, humanity can um, use the elemental water in the same way that the whole of the earth follows a water cycle with the heavens. So literally the heaven, the water evaporating into heaven, coming in as rainstorms, stuff like that. So now it seems like I'm seeing a table, like a holy table of practice, and that they're showing me that um, using the Watchtower Tablet of Earth in particular can be helpful in terms of transforming emotions, but also, um, and also anything to do with watery projects, including of the sea they're adding. So it's a good thing to combine with, for example, um, Bephaphes or Babalel, the heptarchical king and prince, not respectively, I got them out of order. So... And they're showing me that, um, that again, they're just reminding me that using these two together can actually cause um, motion within the human heart and actually help one find one, one's own true will, as it were. So this could be um, of use to people who are um, trying to work either in dialogue with their holy guardian angel or what have you to find where the f water is trying to get to, you know, where in terms of this idea of water finding its own level or a river making its own course, this can be for people who have a will that they're having a hard time get clear on, getting clear on. And so the angels can sort of show, let's say a topographical map of where the water would go over like millions of years. And you can just sort of like shortcut that by like, digging a little canal towards where the water would wind up anyway. And the angels are sort of having me look at the underside of the table. And they're showing um, a large, uh, it looks like a Jupiter seal at the bottom, and they're saying yes. And so just as you can use um, a martial side of this where recalling that Mars is ha, can have its most dignity in the early degrees of Scorpio. They're also saying that Jupiter can have um, be amplified or um, can, you can use this, um, not only they're saying for the moon, obviously, but also for Jupiter uh, workings with um, either on their own, they're saying, they're, they're not limiting themselves to the angelic heptarchy, but yes, uh, King Binapur and Prince Botmono can also be used in this way. And they're also adding Blue Mesa and um, Brawl Jez. But they're specifically saying that um, even though the moon itself is quite watery, um, there's no need to necessarily amplify or try to amplify the moon with, with water because it's already, because it sort of speaks to or answers to all of the other planets. Um, being the closest to Earth. The angels, I'm asking if there's anything else, and they're saying no. So these are. this is pretty direct insight in terms of mechanical arts and transformation. Um, so this is sort of like a key, and the angels are sort of hinting that, yes, the same thing as Earth, but especially with water, um, there's this nice crossover between the planetary um, uh, heptarchical angels and beings and spirits 
and the elemental work that you can do with these angels of transformation and mechanical arts. And so that's it. And they're saying the rest of the insights they will leave to the viewers. So thus ends the vision.